Today I'm going to talk about this affordable option for a roof rack crossbar system that can support up to 330 pounds on your 2021 through 2024 Chevrolet Tahoe GMC Yukon and Yukon XL Chevrolet Suburban and Cadillac Escalade ESV with side roof rails. All right, I picked up these crossbars on Amazon. They are branded the EZ Rex PM 330 pound crossbar roof rack along with the kayak L mounts. Okay, now I wanna show you how easy it is to get these things up on your Yukon or Tahoe. Um, all you're gonna need is a five millimeter Allen. Um, I am gonna use a, a, an impact um, just to get them started and then snug them up by hand. Um, let's throw them up there. Okay, once they are pre-assembled, you're just gonna want to grab either one. Um, they do move here, so it makes installation super easy. I really like that these clamps have a rubber, nice thick rubber coating on them to help protect the, the um, chrome coating on this roof rail. What I like to do to make sure that these are lined up, um, I like to find a guide point and I'm gonna use this crack in the sunroof and just kind of make sure that it's lined up perfectly with the glass. And that will be my line location for the other side as well. And that ensures that they are going on perfectly straight. Now just grab your um, five millimeter Allen. You can use a hand Allen, a ratchet. Um, I'm gonna snug them up with this impact. It speeds things up a little bit. You gotta be careful. This is a quarter inch, so it does help with torque. You don't wanna over torque these things uh, and strip out the clamps. And you wanna lift up a little bit so that the clamp grabs perfectly with the roof rail. And then I'm used to how much torque, so there we go. All right, come over to the other side. And then like I mentioned before, you're gonna wanna use that, that glass line as your focal point there so you know they're straight. Like I said, I just use the glass right here to make sure they're lined up. Go. Just wanna make sure that they're grabbing right underneath that little lip on the rails. Feeling in there, good to go. And then I will take a hand ratchet and just kind of snug them up and make sure they are tight. Okay, let's just repeat that on the second one. Just do your best not to swing these around. You may need a second person to help you get it up. Okay, once you get them lined up on that predetermined line, I'm using the, the front side of this back window so that I know that they're both lined up perfectly straight when I tighten them. Another thing to know is you wanna check this distance. Um, there is rubber on these that help you keep it at a predetermined spot, but they are fully adjustable, uh, meaning you can bring this bar all the way out to, all the way to one side or the other. So I like to just center them out. Snug those up. The next cool feature and small added security are these nice covers with a key. Um, I did notice that a screwdriver can turn this lock, but you know, a would be rubber or something wouldn't know that. You still will have to jam something in there to turn this. Um, they do it just a little bit more of a tamper proof, I guess you would say, so someone couldn't unbolt your racks. Um, in my opinion, they don't really do a lot, but it is nice that they lock on there um, just for the better trim and appearance look on the clamp. Let's get them on. You know, they just slide right over and then you lock just like that. And then that's how you can take them off. Just pop right off and back on. Pretty cool, makes it look nice and sleek. Now that we got these crossbars and kayak mounts all set up and installed. Let's get the kayaks up on the new mounts and go do some real world test driving with the kayaks on. OK, 
go all mounted up. Um, I highly recommend getting a second person to help you load these up. Um, the Yukons and Tahoes can be pretty tall, especially when you get the AT4. Um, they have a little bit higher of a stance, depending on what tires and uh, suspension you go with. There we go, we got the kayaks up on the mounts. Looks good. Um, I do want to mention that you do want to make sure the strap goes underneath the L bracket and the crossbar and that helps uh, cinch the kayak down to the bracket. So just make sure you weave it down below and underneath so that you don't have any problems. You can tell I'm out of breath from loading these kayaks up on the roof by myself, but hey, we did it and you gotta do what you gotta do to go fishing, right? Let's go test drive these and see how it does out on the road. Um, this does add height to your vehicle, so make sure you're not gonna pull back into your garage. Um, you need to remember they're on there. Uh, we've all seen that, uh, I think it was a State Farm commercial where they drive right into the garage with the kayaks. All right, the test drive went great. Um, I, like I showed you in the test drive film, um, I took it up to 50 miles an hour just now. I have taken these kayaks on two trips now and went over speeds of 60 to um, 60 to 70 miles an hour and they handled just fine. Um, there you go. Check out the links in my description where you can get these things. Uh, they are a perfect affordable option so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on the mountain just to go get your kayaks at the store. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.